Hi, everybody, and welcome to Investing in Longevity course. Uh, it is an extension of our Longevity Medicine course series. Uh, and before taking that, I do recommend you look at uh, our Introduction to Longevity 101 and 201 courses that are available at www.longevity.degree. Uh, today, we're introducing this wonderful course uh, to help you navigate this emerging field. Uh, and uh, it's in partnership uh, with Longevity Technology, one of the leading sources of knowledge, data, and uh, information uh, in this uh, new emerging industry. So today, Phil Newman is going to moderate the introduction to the course. Phil? Thanks, Alex. Well, uh, I guess everybody has an introduction to myself. I'm the uh, uh, founder and CEO of Longevity Technology. And in my career as a marketing person, I've looked at multiple industries as they've emerged and flourished. And of course, uh, the longevity sector is one of those industries that is really in the foothills of being the next mega trend. And for investors, this is a very interesting opportunity to participate in really uh, an area of science and commerce, which is going to change the world. And really, we felt that uh, education Education was going to be a key part of ensuring that investors make the uh, the right decisions uh, for the assets that they're managing, but likewise they understand the implications of those investments that they're making. Some of those investments are going to be nearer term, uh, perhaps uh, looking at clinics and supplements, and then some of them are going to be longer term, which of course is the uh, very exciting field of uh, biotech. So we brought together a, a panel of volunteers uh, who've put together. Uh, a very incredible uh, portfolio of slides and information that will form part of the course. And uh, really joining today are really the five contributors to the course. And I guess that it'd be wonderful to go around and introduce everybody uh, to understand their contribution. So uh, Eva, would you like to go first and just explain your background and what you're doing on the course? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Phil, for passing over the word to me. And it's really a great pleasure and honor to be a part of this course. Um, under the leadership of uh, Alex, we have created from the 2020, the courses for physicians and not only, and they have expanded from the introduction course to the 201 uh, advanced course to a CME accredited curriculum that is now being implemented in universities and on platforms such as NHS. So I hope and we will, of course, try our best to also make this course uh, extremely powerful and useful for everybody. And briefly to myself, my name is Evelyn Bishop. I'm a medical doctor and MPH. I'm a professor of medicine at the Shanghai University and Tel Aviv University. And um, I'm working partially in Switzerland and partially in Shanghai as an internal medicine and oncology professional. But at the same time, I'm also a longevity physician, both at the Human Longevity Inc. Craig Venture Institute in San Diego and San Francisco, and um, also having my own concierge practice. Wonderful, Eva. Thank you. And uh, Anka, how about yourself? Let's introduce you. Okay, thanks, Phil. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Jiayi, or you can call me Anka Song. I have recently acquired my degree of finance and economic specialist at Roman Commerce University of Toronto. I've been working at Snowmage Venture since last September. Uh, and mainly responsible for performing primary market research for the potential investments of biopharmaceutical healthcare technology and AI companies. And I'm currently applying to graduate schools. The major I apply for is about mathematical finance, and I understand that finance plays a critical role in allocating resources to medical innovations that improve human lives. Uh, for the investing in longevity course, I'll be briefly introducing the evolution of the industry and related longevity biotech companies. Thanks. Great, Anka. And uh, Ricardo, you've got the heavy lifting on the big pharma brief, so talk about yourself. Absolutely. Thanks, Phil. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ricardo. Um, I'm an entrepreneurial physician executive um, specializing in innovative medicine development and pharmaceutical medicine. I actually began my career by uh, practicing medicine in the first place in the clinic before deciding to venture to the pharma and biotech industry, um, where in the past decade or so, more or less, I have held multiple positions of increasing responsibility and leadership um, at national, regional, European, and global level in wor worldwide renowned companies such as Novartis, AstraZeneca, uh, and Roche. In this course, uh, I intend to leverage my past experience working in R&D, product development, and strategy with my international leadership and management experience to bring together the vision of the corporate pharma drug discovery and development world with the moonshot project of tackling aging as a whole. 
Uh, I consider myself a global health enthusiast, uh, passionate about longevity medical education, and that's why uh, we're all here, uh, and also about meaningful life science innovation with the potential to expand human healthy lifespan. So thank you very much and looking forward to connecting with everyone. Wonderful, Ricardo. Thank you. So, uh, Alex, you're at the forefront of what's happening uh, both in the science and uh, the investment side of, uh, of longevity. So why, why do you feel that uh, now's the right time for this course we put together? Sure. Well, I've been in the longevity industry for 19 years. Uh, I switched from information technology uh, to biomedicine uh, in around 2004, uh, and uh, I'm religiously committed to the field. Uh, I've seen ups and downs in this industry, many companies uh, being born and uh, many of them died. Uh, I've seen many different business models uh, that emerged over the past uh, two decades. Uh, and uh, uh, together with uh, the University of Copenhagen, we put together one of the largest, uh, probably the largest conference uh, on longevity biotechnology in the world's five-day event uh, transpiring at the end of uh, August, beginning of September every year. This year is our 10th annual. Uh, I also founded uh, a company called In Silicon Medicine, which is an AI-powered drug discovery company, also focused on uh, longevity biotechnology in part. Uh, however, we are very, um, uh, very uh, well-versed in the pharmaceutical industry, and our goal is, of course, to deliver drugs to the market. We also spun off a company called Deep Longevity, uh, which got acquired by another publicly traded company, uh, Endurance Longevity. So I can tell you a little bit uh, about uh, acquisitions in the space. Uh, and I specialize in the form of generative AI uh, designed uh, for drug discovery. And uh, we just developed uh, a range of um, deep learning aging biomarkers. Uh, I um, invented several interesting technologies in this field since 2016. Uh, we publish a lot, uh, and um, we try to integrate the industry even further and help advance it in every way, shape, and form. I think that this course is going to be extremely valuable for not only investment professionals, but also to uh, high school students, uh, uh, university students, uh, and uh, uh, even lay people uh, alike, uh, because it introduces the most exciting and the most impactful industry uh, that is going to change uh, the way we think about life in general. Uh, I think that it's the most impactful industry on the planet. Uh, I will uh, provide an introduction to the course. Uh, I will tell you a few stories and the uh, uh, rises and falls of uh, the many interesting companies, different business models, uh, and different investing techniques uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this industry don't have any financial interest in this course, uh, and please don't treat anything we say here as an investment advice. So, so um, from, from my perspective, of course, in the course, I'll be uh, putting together the, the knowledge and the insights um, was, that we see within our brokerage business associated with the, the whole field of investments into longevity. And yeah, I guess it's really the investment profiles that are out there, the different types of organizations that are getting investment, and likewise, the different investment categories that exist within longevity. And of course, we're involved in investment into really two domains. I guess it's the longevity that that's available now as investment opportunities and the longer term opportunities associated with longevity biotech. And one of those areas that I think, uh, Eva, you could help us with is really understanding that uh, really as a clinician on the front line, there are actually here and now longevity investment opportunities because you're deploying the technology today, right? Absolutely, yes. Thank you so much. And one of my roles here in this course will be to bring also the perspective of a clinician and also of a patient, of a patient journey in terms of biomarkers of the currently available diagnostics, deep diagnostics, companies who are already trying to apply those in comprehensive settings such as private clinics and also now uh, academic institutions that are bringing longevity medicine into their platforms, as well as companies that are providing other solutions and other interventions um, in the early stage for longevity medicine. Great. And uh, Ricardo, of course, we, we mentioned earlier about Big Pharma. Uh, those of us that are in the industry know that big pharma is involved. This is not uh, something that is uh, mysterious to us. But of course, there are some myths out there as to how big pharma looks at longevity. So I guess that's something that you're going to be really addressing for us. That's correct, Phil. Um, I think when we look at the recent developments in the past 
decade within the field, there's a lot of promise um, around longevity technologies. And hence, uh, I think this is an area of um, exponential expansion. And um, we, we are seeing more and more a lot of publications um, out there. We're seeing more creation of startups and biotechnology companies in different segments um, within the field. And I think this is gaining a lot of momentum and uh, very promising uh, for pharma to start looking a little bit more seriously into the field as well. Wonderful. And of course, uh, pharma represents a lot of exit opportunities for investors that are getting companies into that very crucial uh, second phase of, of clinical outcomes. And I guess that we'll be talking about some of the M&A activity that we've already seen in the sector. Absolutely. I think we're we're probably going to cover a, a range of different uh, opportunities for, for pharma, um, ranging from uh, corporate venture funds, um, of, of pharma companies, ranging from opportunities for co-development or co-commercialization agreements or M&A uh, activities as a whole. So uh, there's different ways for, of partnering within, within the industry. Um, the more innovation is out there, the more promising this might be for pharma moving forward. And this is what we also intend to give more visibility to with this course. Great. And Anchor, of course, people love data, right? Uh, you've been working hard helping us pull together some very interesting statistics. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing on the course. Uh, actually, I'm currently, uh, I, for this course, I'm majorly responsible for collecting the data, like their capitalization and value about some outstanding biotechnology uh, companies. And we classify them for three generations and we put them all together and we also include consumer focused companies. That's great, Anka. Thank you. So Alex, let's talk about now the implementation of the of the course. Uh, how do people get, get access to the course and when is it going to be available? So the course will be available from www.longevity.degree uh, and from uh, Longevity Technology so that you can get it from both, both sources. It's currently implemented via an online platform uh, that is enjoyed by the many, many, many uh, hundreds of thousands of people. It's called Teachable. Uh, we launched uh, Longevity um, uh, Medicine 101 and 201 on this platform, and thousands and thousands of physicians uh, took the courses, and uh, many of them received CME accreditation. Uh, so it's the same platform. Uh, we are going to deliver the course in several steps. Uh, in several stages, I will present the introduction to the industry uh, and uh, explain why uh, longevity uh, industry is here and now uh, and why uh, investing in longevity is important and why also um, uh, the understanding of this uh, industry is important. Phil Newman is going to cover uh, the industry part and explain um, how the industry is organized, what are the, what are the different business models. Uh, Ricardo is going to provide um, an overview of the pharmaceutical industry initiatives in this field and also provide an overview of the many biotechnology companies that are emerging in this um, uh, area. Uh, Evelyn is going to provide the physician's view uh, on the uh, industry and explain how to invest in uh, uh, companies providing medical services and also uh, the nonprofit, for profit uh, combinations. Uh, we have uh, many of those uh, emerging. Uh, and we will conclude with the different uh, VC approaches. Uh, uh, and Phil is going to outline the various venture capitalists uh, and their strategies for investing in the field. Uh, afterward, we will provide uh, multiple guest lectures by top venture capitalists in the field uh, that will cover their own strategies and provide an overview of how they do things. I highly encourage everybody to come to the ARDD conference uh, in 2023. It's going to be the 10th annual and it will, it will transpire, transpire from um, August 28th to September 2nd. So it's a very long, uh, massive events, uh, event uh, loaded with uh, science, but also has uh, a substantial VC component. We always have multiple VC panels, and I hope that by that time, uh, we will have uh, the longevity, um, uh, investing in longevity course complete. Uh, it will emerge uh, over the course of several months. Great, Alex. Well, I guess the key thing now is let's get people signed up. Uh, and then when the course is released, 
uh, we'll let them know. And then uh, hopefully by the time we get to August and ARDD, we'll have uh, plenty more investors uh, gend up on what's happening within this exciting sector. Perfect. And uh, Ricardo, maybe you would like to add a few words about uh, how the pharmaceutical industry is looking at this field and um, uh, how uh, the many companies that are emerging right now are planning to collaborate with pharma and possibly be acquired by pharma. Absolutely. Thanks uh, for that, Alex. So I, I think um, pharma is definitely paying uh, attention to the developments within, within the field. And um, we are in, at a stage where uh, things are very different now in 2023 versus what they were uh, 10 years ago. I think pharma has uh, really been tracking a lot of the scientific breakthroughs in the first place that have been happening out there, both at, a, at an academic level, but also from a more uh, company um, uh, private effort perspective as well. So I think looking at the whole field and the potential for new partnerships within the field with biotech companies and also bringing those sources of external innovation internally within those companies to uh, further develop their own pipeline is something that is uh, key for the industry and for the pharma companies out there. So when uh, they start looking at the scientific breakthroughs in the past decade in the field, when they start seeing the level of scientific publications increasing exponentially in the past years, um, the level of increase in IP, the level of increase of generation of new startups and biotechnology companies, there's clearly a big momentum and this is a big a momentum that is uh, here to stay and, and to further expand uh, exponentially within the future. So um, my belief is that uh, pharma is going to play a big role within the field and uh, hence uh, I think it's a really important partner to uh, for these companies as well, because they have they bring a lot of expertise not only from the development side but also in the manufacturing, um, a big manufacturing machine. So I think all in all, there's uh, there's a lot of synergies that can be explored between more innovative companies on the biotech side and also more established companies in the corporate pharma world. Okay, Alex, so I guess the, the next thing to understand is really uh, how do people find out more? And uh, I guess because we're pre-launch now, people would be able to pre-register. Is that correct? That's correct. So just go to longevity technology uh, slash VC course and uh, you'll find the course. I'm pretty sure you can find it on longevity.technology uh, website uh, as well. <laughs>